I'm Dr. Chetna Dharmapalaya. I'm a consultant rheumatologist at Astra CMI Hospital in Hebbal. Autoimmune rheumatic diseases are a group of conditions which happen due to your own immune system becoming a bit haywire and start affecting normal tissues and organs of the body. There are more than 200 different types of autoimmune conditions. A lot of them affect the joints, but they can also affect other organ systems too. The most common autoimmune rheumatic diseases you may have come across would be rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis, connective tissue diseases like lupus, systemic sclerosis, systemic vasculitis, so, so there are multiple of these. There are also other conditions like osteoarthritis which is a degenerative type of arthritis and you, they, we also see conditions called fibromyalgia which uh, causes a lot of muscular aches and pains and patients have other symptoms like poor sleep etc. Apart from joints which are affected in most of the types of arthritis, the patients come with joint pain, joint swelling and early morning joint stiffness. These are the common symptoms that are there in most of the rheumatic diseases. Rheumatoid arthritis itself can also affect organ, other organ systems like the eyes for example. Patients can present with severe dryness of the eyes. They can also have condition called scleritis. Rheumatoid arthritis could affect the lungs, for example, can cause something called interstitial lung disease. It could affect the heart and the neurological system as well. Patients with SLE or lupus could have mainly organ system involvement, particularly we would be concerned, concerned about the kidney involvement in lupus. So patients could actually present to us with hypertension, leakage of protein in the urine, for example, and these have to be picked up and treated early in order to prevent long-term damage. Patients may also have symptoms with regards to neurological uh, involvement in terms of tingling or numbness of the hands or the feet. They could have seizures, for example, in lupus. They could present with headaches or even stroke. There's a condition called antiphospholipid syndrome, which is an autoimmune condition and it can cause recurrent miscarriages in young women. They can also have blood clots in the legs or the lungs, for example, or they could even present with stroke. There's another condition called Takayashu's arthritis which affects basically the blood vessels. So this can affect blood vessels anywhere from the brain till the toes. So these present with symptoms like conditions like stroke or even a heart attack. So rheumatological autoimmune diseases are not just about joint pains or arthritis but they could affect multiple organ systems. So uh, patients uh, who are referred to us include uh, referrals that come from the eye department with uveitis or scleritis. They can include interstitial lung disease, so pulmonologists refer patients to us. Or patients with kidney diseases or heart diseases can all have autoimmune rheumatic diseases. So if you have these symptoms or if you come across somebody with uh, any of the autoimmune rheumatic diseases, you may get further help by getting in touch with the rheumatology department at Astra CMI Hospital.